still to come. Forget the Olympics. We have got the only bid you should be bothering with in 2012. Trust me, you want to see it. We'll see you in a few. Uh, no one likes a walker, do they? No. Hey. Hello, Emily. Hello. <laughs> Nobody likes a walker. Uh, with only 21 days left of this series, it's time for us to start thinking about the future. <laughs> we all know that January can be a dark and depressing time, but next year we want to take solace in one shining beam of light. Mark has found things difficult recently. I'm just going to end it all. Troubled by his early departure from the Big Brother house, he knows that thousands of people would have loved to have been in his position. But Mark thinks he's found a way to turn it all around. Hello? Yeah, it's Mark. Yeah, Mark from Big Brother. No, stop screaming. No, not Mark Owen. Yeah, the one with the, yeah, the really small penis. Look, um, I've actually got an amazing proposition for you. Sounds wonderful, darling. I'll be at the Gherkin in 20 minutes. OK, see you there. Bye. <laughs> ah! Mark's brainchild is a campaign to get glamorous TV favourite Lauren Harries into next year's Big Brother house. She's in. Right, now I need, like, an amazing type brand manager. Uh, he's got to be successful. He's got to be punctual. He's got to be reputable. I know the man. Are you on crack? Do I look like a bloody charity case? I'll piss off. A, always. B, B, C, closing. Oh yeah, and D for dickheads. <laughs> Bags of brand. Who the fuck is this? Mark Owen? I'm a small penis guy. <laughs> yeah, anything for Lauren. 20 minutes, I'll be there. The team hastily arranges a rendezvous for their first campaign meeting. It's a crap team. Oh, sorry. It's a crack team and completely focused on making Lauren 2012 a reality. Reality. You're all right. Good to see you. <laughs> oh. Right. Thanks for coming. No, no, don't worry about it. I went over a speed and put seven miles an hour and skidded on some pigeon poo. Doesn't matter. Skidded on pigeon poo. It's a creative hotbed of ideas, invention, and pointless posturing. Stuart Banks has lost none of his creative drive. Why don't you adopt ten kids from Africa? It's work for Madonna. Lauren has her own ideas about what she wants. I've got my own idea for what I want. And Mark is secretly wondering if there might be an opportunity for him to somehow displace testicles again. I want the opening of this to be, like, bigger than the Olympic ceremony. Stuart, you've got to go off and do your bagsy stuff. You've got to go off and do your publicity stuff. And me, I'm going to hospital. <laughs> the team gets to work. Lauren nearly convinces a high-end fashion magazine to get behind the campaign. Hi, I'd like to speak to the editor of um, World Magazine, please. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I'm Lauren Harris. If you don't have an appointment, you won't be coming in. I demand to see the editor of Vogue. I'm on Big Brother and I want publicity. Don't you try it. I'll sue you. I'm suing you. I am suing you. I am suing you. <gasps> Stuart starts to wheel and deal. Mate, I need 6,000 posters for 40p. No. 80p? No. Come on. Gonna happen. <laughs> and Mark uses his skills. <laughs> After a lot of hard work, they're finally ready to show the bit on the side team the campaign logo. Please welcome the potential future winner of Celebrity Big Brother 2012 and her campaign manager. A bum touch there. Oh, I, did, I had a little slap again. Yeah, slapped right. it the first time I met you. I'll slap it the second. Turn me on ever so slightly again. Okay. Uh, so, Mark, uh, uh, you are the campaign manager. So, have you got the campaign logo sorted? Yes, all done. We've sort of done it, haven't we? 
Like, well, yeah. It's you. Do you want to reveal it's it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready? First ever viewing. Oh! oh. Pink and blue, um, two of the colours of the rainbow. No, no, not yet. <laughs> OK. So, uh, Lauren, why do you think Celebrity Big Brother needs you? Well, they've been trying to get me on it for years, Emma. Oh, have they? Yeah, it's just now some, your wonderful bit on the side has brought it forth, you know? OK. I, I, I just want people to see the real me, and I, I, this programme's helped, and I think going in the house will help it more. OK, what would you bring to the house? What characteristics do you think you have that would be great in the house? Um, well, uh, people will understand more about myself. Yeah. And I'm a good, I'm a, lo a loving person, a nice person, and I will put up with any crap, which is so you could bring, what people want to watch. So you could bring love to the house. Love to the house. But you'd also tell them like it is. Oh, yeah. No, nobody messes with me. OK. Who gets away with it, you know. I can imagine, can't you? <laughs> uh, Mark, why are you getting behind Lauren? Well, the thing is, right, I feel really bad about walking and everything. But, oh, no. no, I do. But, you know, you said nobody likes walkers. Yeah. Some people do. Like Who? Gary Lineker. <laughs> Other 80s football icons are available. Rubbish. It wasn't. Other Chris. Because he does are like them because he's on the advert well. and stuff. <laughs> so he likes them. Uh, oh, oh, Orville's oh, like, you've got the same haircut as Orville tonight. Uh, guys, I take your pass. Do you it's wanna, my hair's not that bad. Do you want to oh. see Mark in the. Uh, Mark, not Mark, Mark's walked out of the house. Do you oh, want to yeah, see Lauren in the house? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, Mark, is. Positive about, reaction in here, Lauren. Thank you, I know. Thank you very, very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We're like making sure she gets in because she has to get in because she's bloody lovely. Yeah. How do you think you would do the tasks? Oh, I'd be fine. Mm. Yeah. Really? It's not like we've got to eat any, well, rotten eggs or anything. You know, like you, you might do have it. to do that. I well, do it, I do it, I do it. Mind control. You just do it because you have to do it, don't you? Yeah. You know? they, um, they, are, they are kind of throwing things, like eating things that you now yeah, see. Yeah, no, year. no, I would do, I'd be able to do it, no problem at all. It's just people really have been campaigning for me to go in the house on their own, and now this as well, and Mark's help. Yeah. You know, Mark's just fantastic. I'm just the best campaign manager, best campaign in, this manager in the world. studio. How, yeah. do you think, how do you think you deal with the cameras? Fine. Being on you all the time. Yeah, I know, but they're not on you on the toilet, are they? Yeah. Are they? No, not with the celebrity one. They still watch your poo, I think. Well, <laughs> you know, I'll do it with elegance, darling. <laughs> it's really difficult, though, because I tried to poo with elegance, and it just doesn't work. Listen, let's, not, let's, <laughs> let's get away from poo, Mark. Okay. You know. uh, Lauren, we know that you are heavily into your fashion. Yes, very. Um, would you take in a new outfit for every day? Three outfits a day, Emma. Three outfits three every outfits single day? day? Yeah. For three and a half, four weeks, or yeah, however long it is? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because, you know, in my day, in the, you know, in the 80s, it was five minutes on television. Now it's a house with cameras. I'm not going to waste that opportunity, you know, and I could sit down and have a cup of tea after. OK, so, and would lovely. every outfit be black? Because we know that you only ever wear black. I always... You look lovely today as well, Emma. Got a bit of colour going on there, A Lauren. bit of colour, yeah, but, you know, you're getting there, Emma. You know, you're getting there. <laughs> OK. We can wear one, some white uh, stuff, we? just we? all no, have I'd, to... No, I'd wear different colours, I would, but, but I always say black is back. Did and black is the, the colour to wear. Thing. Definitely. OK. Um, now, guys, uh, uh, Mark... <laughs> Pay attention. Yeah, Back Mark, in the room. Mark, Mark, I'm just saying room. over there because Jamie's. Uh, bearing in mind, everybody in like... the studio at home oh, and you guys, we have no power as oh, to who goes in the house I know in January. We're trying to get some but, power but of the people. Hold on, hold on. What other celebrities would you like to see in the house for the well, next celebrity? I'd like to see Keith Allen. Because I did a documentary with him called, well, I won't say what it was called, but people know him. Well, people who know me know it. And I, I could, would like to ruin him in the house. Because he's a horrible man, really. You know, he's done some really horrible things. So it would be just my opportunity just to ruin him, you know. OK, Mark, uh, very quickly, I want to see. Want to say? I want to see her in the house with Pat Sharp. Right. Dave Benson Phillips and Neil Buchanan from Art Attack and then to have a big fight and see who's the best 80s kids person. OK, and also, very quickly, what have you got planned for Lauren over the next few weeks? Oh, we've got loads of stuff planned. We're going to spend a lot of time just together in our little love shacky thing. And we're going to spend a lot of time on, you know, like uh, mopeds with little side carts. Yeah. We're going to go around on one of them together and get to know each other better. Oh, and campaign? Sort of. We're definitely campaigning, Fabulous. aren't we? It's 2012, Lauren Harris. <laughs> Get behind Lauren. Uh, visit our Facebook page and follow the link to her Celeb Big Brother 2012 campaign. But 
Lest we forget, we still have four housemates up for eviction 